This past summer, I took a nearly 10,000 mile road trip across and around the USA. While I did upgrade the Volvo's headlights before I left, they weren't quite up to the standards I would like after prolonged hours of driving on remote highways in the middle of the night. Though, as you'll see shortly, literally anything would have been better than the old, yellowed, worn-out halogens that I took out. The Volvo uses H7 halogen bulbs. All halogens will degrade and dim slightly as they age. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what came out of the car on the left and a brand new bulb on the right. Notice the misshapen filament and the fuzz of tungsten built up on the metal support near the filament on the old bulb. This is a sign that this bulb has had a very, very long life. It's not yet failed, but its light output and efficiency are greatly reduced. The new bulb has a straight, shiny filament with no buildup on the glass or the filament supports. A lot can be said about a headlight's performance by looking at the brightness of the hotspot or the brightest point in the beam pattern. For this, I bought an inexpensive light meter. For this video, we will be measuring in lux, which is lumens per square meter. Measuring headlight output is pretty simple. I first disconnect the running lights and the headlight on the other side, so only one low beam is operating at a time. I then measure 25 feet from the headlight out to a vertical surface, in this case a cardboard box. I then shut off all other light sources nearby, start the engine, and I turn on the light. The headlight produces a horizontal cutoff line and a hot spot, which in this particular model extends slightly above the cutoff line. To measure the light intensity, I move the sensor around the hot spot and record the peak value. I'll save you the boring part of watching me flail this thing around for several minutes and skip right to the data I collected. I tested four different halogen H7 bulbs. The numbers are pretty interesting. The worn out bulb is 26.2% dimmer than a new one. On the other hand, the high output bulbs are noticeably dimmer than their advertised specs. The Philips Extreme Vision claims up to 130% brighter than a stock bulb, but I only measured a 6.8% increase. Similarly, the Racing Vision, which claims up to 150% more light, only produced 16.9% more light at the hotspot. It's certainly a good idea to replace headlight bulbs that are a few years old. You could be only getting three quarters of the expected light output. The high output bulbs do provide an increase in light over a stock unit, but they cost more to purchase, and their high output comes at the price of reduced lifespan. A stock halogen has a lifespan in excess of 1,000 hours, though it will be dim at the end of that, so it only makes sense to get the high output bulbs if you can find them on sale. Cloudy or pitted lenses, as well as faded reflectors, can greatly reduce the light delivered to the road. Replacing or restoring old headlights can improve the beam regardless of which kind of bulb is used.